I think first of all we we worked at it and uh, we uh, we try to keep an ear to the ground. We try to know what uh, uh, Chattanooga's thinking about. We like to we we think that we produce a paper that uh, uh, that perhaps all through the years has more nearly <coughs> met their. Uh, requirements and met their uh, desires than perhaps someone else. Roy McDonald's News Free Press always has lots of pictures. He says a picture is worth a thousand words and besides he just likes pictures. Among his favorites are wedding pictures and pictures of the families at rehearsal dinners. I look to see the father and mother of the bride and to see what I suspect their characteristics are and the father and mother of the groom, and then I look at the groom and the bride, and the expression on their faces uh, I find interesting. Think you can read something out of it? Well, I think so, with no chance to prove it. But you think you know who's going to have a good marriage and whose marriage might yeah, be real rocky? Yeah, and I think I know who dominates <laughs> which... Uh... McDonald's love of pictures was probably most evident when Elvis Presley died. The News Free Press put out page after page about the king, including lots of photos. McDonald says his paper is different in another way. It doesn't charge for obituaries. I'm told it uh, costs $45 to die in Knoxville and 60 to $75 in Nashville and $125 uh, in Atlanta. And uh, we just, uh, today we have three full pages of obituaries and uh, we just think it ought to be that way. Other McDonald's convinced the people in our area like the kind of paper he prints and the way he goes about it. I, I just feel like uh, the News Free Press has uh, a more genuine warm acceptance on the part of the people of Chattanooga today than it ever has had and I think we've earned it. <laughs>